Hey what's up guys, still learning how to play Lotus In by Why Don't We? Now this song only has a few chords in there, but they do play around with those chords a little bit. Add a few things in there to make it interesting. You'll notice I've got some chorus on my guitar sound, which they do in the original song as well. This sounds a little bit different to what they do, but it has the same sort of effect. So our main guitar part will sound like this. So our chords here are a D to a G. So if you D, pop your first finger on the third string and second fret, second finger on the first string and second fret, and then third finger on the second string and the third fret. And we're just going to strum the fourth, third, and second strings. And then to our G. So now your first finger on the fifth string and the second fret, and then your second finger on the sixth string and the third fret. Now ordinarily, we would also have our third finger on that first string, but we're not actually going to be strumming that first string at all. So it's still probably a good idea to have it there if you're not super confident with your right hand strumming uh, precision. But if you're comfortable that you'll be able to stop at the second string, then you don't need to have anything there at all. So just that D. To our G. Now what we're going to do while that G is ringing out, is move our first finger and use that to bar the first and second strings in the second fret. So place your first finger flat so it's covering both the first and second strings. But while the rest of it is ringing out. And what we're going to do is hit the second string to first string. Then take off that first finger and play the open first string again. Now the second time we go D to G is going to sound like this. So this time while that G is ringing out, we're going to move our first finger just onto the second string in the second fret. And use our third finger to play the second string on the third fret. So second fret to third fret. So again, that whole thing together. Now we play the whole section once through uh, for the intro and then straight into the verse. So for the verse we're going to do it once through again. Then the second time through we're just going to play that first half. But now instead of going to a D, we're going to go to a B minor. So your first finger on that first string, second fret. Second finger on the second string, third fret. Third finger up on the fourth string, the fourth fret. And then your fourth finger on the third string in the fourth fret. We just hold that for four beats and go back to a G. Hold it for two beats and then go to an A. So if you A, put your first finger up on the fourth string, second fret. Second finger on the third string, second fret. And then your third finger on the second string, second fret. So just all in a line like that. And starting from the fifth string down to the second string again. Now we're just going to add a fourth finger onto the second string, third fret. So the second half of the verse will sound like this. Then we move to a pre-chorus and we're just going to switch from an E minor to an A. So E minor, just pop your first finger up on the 5th string 2nd fret and then you just the 2nd finger on the 4th string 2nd fret. Back to that A again. Again, we're just going to strum to the second string. And then just hit that first string afterwards. And then do it again. 
This one on that A, add your fourth finger like you did at the end of the verse. Then we go into the chorus, and what the guitar does is just long held strums. But the piano has this eighth note rhythm going on, literally just hammering on the chord. So it's up to you how you want to play this. If you have a piano player with you, just do your long held notes. If it's just you on guitar, I would recommend just doing eight down strums per chord. Oh, actually, no, we're pretty much the same chord progression as the verse. So we're going to go D, G, D, G again. <laughs> G one more time. To a B minor. Then we're going to do four strums on a G, four strums on an A, and then end on a D. So that whole chorus will sound like this. Same sequence again. So into a verse, same as the first verse, to a pre-chorus, same as the first pre-chorus, into another chorus. Then after the second chorus, we move into a post-chorus, where it's basically just the second half of the chorus played again. So going D to G to B minor, and then a G, A, D at the end. Chorus. And for the first half of this chorus, we're actually going to play the chords like we did for a verse. Then for the second half, we're going to play exactly like every other chorus, but not moving back to the A after that G. So doing eight strums on the G instead of four. D, we're moving to the outro, which is just a repeat of the intro. So just doing that verse progression one more time. And there we go, guys. Let's load us in by why don't we? Make sure to leave any comments or questions in the comment section below. Pop in a request you have down there as well. If you like this lesson, make sure to like and subscribe. I have new lessons coming out every single week. It really helps support the channel. Thanks for watching, guys. I'm Sam. I'll see you next time.